The main reason that we see customers coming to Relogistics for support is for handling the non-product related uh, items that they deal with. It's just a, not part of their business, and so they have a hard time managing it and tracking it and reporting on it, which is something that we have all those systems already set up for. So by coming to us, they can go ahead and take care of that part of their business and get a summarized version of all the labor that we put to do the pallet sorting, the pallet repairing, the tote sorting, all those activities that we do. And all they do is get a weekly or a monthly summary that tells them how that was performed for them, and they don't have to deal with it. As Relogistics, we offer many labor management solutions. Uh, we just go in and do staffing, where we're gonna have, have people that are gonna go in and gonna provide those services, be it pallet sortation, tote sorting, bailing, whatever they may be. We also bring in crews that might be larger, and then we might have a management staff on, on hand also, where we've got a manager and a crew that's working for them. We bring in um, any seasonal employees if we need them. We bring in any shift employees that we need, and we manage those, again, based on the customer's needs and some of it could be that they need more people during the part of the season than the other part of the season, and we adjust accordingly. We also have a recruiting department that helps us with our staffing, where we're able to go ahead and look for just not any employee, but qualified employees that understand what we do and what our customer needs are, so we again can do it efficiently for our customer. We do that all through either a supervisory network or a management network or the regional operations managers being an integral part of meeting with that customer on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to make sure our employees are doing what they need to do while they're on site. Any new employees coming on board with us has the opportunity to look at videos of what their tasks are. They also go through SOPs that explain to them what they're supposed to be doing. And then we usually pair them up with a buddy and they're with a buddy for, depending on what their job is, it could be for a day or it could be for a week if it's on equipment, that they're constantly being evaluated for and making sure that they're operating safely, they're performing the job safely, that they have the right tools for the job and that they understand what we're asking them to do. Safety is the number one priority with Relogistics. So every day we have safety meetings that we start out with at the beginning of the shift, whether it's the first shift, second shift, or weekend shift. There's a safety review that the teams do together just to make sure everyone's aware of any new things that may have been coming up in the facility, any changes in schedules, anything that may make any kind of working conditions safe or unsafe. We review that with them and then we do stretches and provide them the proper PPE to do their jobs effectively. And that starts the day, so we make sure that that's the first thing they think about every day.